Okay, one of the wonderful things you can learn from Ernie Els is this full shoulder turn, and it's that full shoulder turn that gives this swing that look of wonderful tempo and rhythm. So, as Ernie swings the top, he makes this majestic turn, his left shoulder touches his chin, and sometimes, you know, he said to me at the Open Championship this year at Murfield, sometimes his swing thought is as simple as making sure his left shoulder touches his chin before he pulls the trigger. And for amateurs, so many amateurs that I see don't make a full shoulder turn and therefore their swing becomes rushed and quick. So make sure you have a full shoulder turn, your chin, your chin touches your, your left shoulder, the top of the swing. And a nice way to practice this is to take the club and put it behind your back, hands on your hips here, and just make a turn. Now what you'll notice is that yes, my shoulders are turning, but look how my hips also have to help that process. If your hips don't turn with your shoulders, you'll never really achieve a full shoulder turn. So, to help you, make sure that you do a full shoulder turn and allow your hips to join in on that. And then you'll have a lovely full shoulder turn which adds power and rhythm to a golf swing.